Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace the print head on your HP Smart Tank 580. If you don't have this specific model, but another HP printer or HP Smart Tank, then this should work for you as well, as the uh, method for replacing the Smart Tank uh, print head is very similar, if not the same. So this video should help. I please hope you stick around and find the solution here. What you're going to need to do is make sure that the printer is switched on. And now there is uh, one way to do this, but unfortunately it is quite a common error where the print head will not come out. So I'll show you how to fix that as well. So when you open this latch at the front, the front door, either the print head will slide out to the middle, but unfortunately it's quite a common issue that it doesn't acknowledge that you've opened the front and it won't do this. So what I'll show you now, we'll be able to fix that. So we're gonna close that again and we want to turn off the printer completely, allow it to fully shut down. And make sure not to touch anything whilst the button is flashing as this could interrupt the shutdown process and uh, may cause you a few issues or develop another error code. So now the light stopped flashing, we can turn it back on. And what we're gonna do is just open up the front and stop the print head mid uh, motion to make sure that uh, it stops right in the middle. So you will just uh, wait until the print head starts to move and then we'll stop it. And now you can see the printhead is sliding over. We're just going to stop it from going back. Now it may take just a couple times for it to completely come to a stop, but once it does, we'll be able to adjust the printheads. There we are. So now the printheads have stopped. What we can do is press down on this blue tab here, which will release the printheads from the latch and we'll be able to take them out. The method of taking them out will be that you press down on the top of the printhead there, like so, until it clicks out and the spring will push it out towards you. You can then safely remove the print heads. Uh, if you will be putting the same one back in, make sure not to damage it or to touch this little uh, scanner in the front as this could interrupt the electrical connection. So make sure not to touch that. Uh, we're gonna just put the same one back in for the purpose of the video. But of course, if you are putting a new one, you'll be taking it out of the package, making sure the stickers are removed and then inserting that in. If you do need help with uh, putting new print heads into the machine, we have another video that you can watch for that. But of course, I'll just put this one back in. So the way to put it back in is just to push it in very carefully until it clicks in. And then that is nice and secure. And then we're gonna make sure we just click that back into place. If you don't click this back into place, you will still receive an error code informing you that there is something wrong with the print head and you'll have to adjust it. Also, the print head will not move anymore if that is up, as it's blocked by the ceiling of the printer. So now that's done, we can go ahead and close this up. And once the printer recognizes that we've done that, you'll be able to keep printing. There you are, and you can see that the error code has now uh, moved and it's no longer displaying an error on your printer. Now this should have helped you with any printer needs you have requiring this uh, error. I hope the solution has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do have any feedback for us, or anything you'd like to add, please drop it in the comments. We'd really appreciate hearing from you. My name is Pat and this is the Printers with Pat channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.